Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play one of my personal favorite Kirby themes from Kirby Superstar called Green Greens. Okay, so be teaching you two sections of a song, pretty much the entire song. Okay, all these all you need is these two sections and you got it. Here we go. So first section is this, goes like this, check it out. So anyway, let's go ahead and learn how to play this section, okay? Also, oh, oh yes, there's the other section, okay? I'll give you a preview of the second section as well. So here we go, give you a preview of the other section. It goes like this. Okay, so yes, okay, those are the two sections. Now, let's get right to the first section. Here we go, okay, so I'll be teaching in block chords and melody first. At the end, I'll tell you the pattern. The left hand pattern is just always the same pattern, but get the block chords first, then it's all good, okay? So here we go, let's break it up into parts to learn it. Here we go, first part, we're gonna break up this uh, first section into four parts. So first part goes like this. Right hand starts on the G here, right next to the middle C here. So it goes G, G, C. C, up to E, G, up to the high C, B, A, G. That's the first part. One more time for this first part. So it goes G, G, C, C, E, G, up to high C, B, A, G. And that's the right hand. Once you get the right hand, left hand, easy stuff. Four chords, four of them are all C major chords. C, E, G. So all four of them. Two, three, four. So with these four chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts. C and C major together. C major by itself, Ryan continues, G and C major together, G and C major together, and that's the first part. One more time, it goes like this, and that's the first part, okay? After you get this first part, the second part continues like this, right hand starts with E, up to G, F, D, E, D, E, D, C, and that's it for the second part for the right hand. One more time, it goes like this, E, G, F, D, E, D, E, D, C, and that's it for the right hand. Once you get that right hand there, left hand, four chords, the four chords are D minor, which is D, F, A, second chord G major, which is G, B, D, and third, fourth chord are both C major, which is C, E, G, so both of them C major. So with these four chords in mind, so D minor, G major, and two C major chords, the two hands together goes like this, right hand starts, F and D minor together, D and G major together, C and C major together, C major by itself like that. One more time, it goes together, 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 here. And that's it for the second part. Back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this, check it out. Together. Like that. Okay, something awesome happens, the third part is actually exactly the same as the first part, so you just repeat. Back to back, the three parts we've learned so far would be play like this. Check it out. Okay, then the fourth and last part of this section uh, is actually pretty much exactly the same except for the left hand chords. Okay, the right hand is exactly the same. It says E, G, F, D, E, D, E, D, C. So Right, right hand, remember, the fourth part is exact same right hand notes as the second part. So we can skip that because you know that already. It's just the left hand chords, different chords. So the four chords for this uh, fourth part is D minor, D, F, A. Second chord changes this time to E major, which is E, G sharp, B. Third chord to A minor, which is A, C, E. And fourth chord to G major, which is G, B, D. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, D minor, E major, A minor, and G major. The two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts off. F and D minor together, D and E major together, C and A minor together, G major by itself, like that. One more time, like this, together, 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 here, and that's it. Back to back, all four parts of this section will be played like this, check it out.
nice and playful. Just like that, and we got it. Okay, now moving on to the second section. Second section goes like this. Right hand continues, goes C, D, E flat, D, E flat, F, E flat, F, G, F, G, down to C. And that's the first part. So once again, we're actually gonna break it up into four parts. So here we go. So four parts for this second section. One more time, so it goes like this. C, D, E flat, D, E flat, F, E flat, F, G, F, G, C. That's it for the first part for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, four chords. Four chords are F minor, which is F, A flat, C. Second chord is B flat major, which is B flat, D, F. Third chord is E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. And fourth chord is A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, so F minor, B flat major, E flat major, and A flat major. The two hands together goes like this, right hand starts. E flat and F minor together. F and B flat major together. G and E flat major together. C and A flat major together. Like that. One more time. Like this. Together. 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 Like that. And that's the first part. Okay. After you get this first part, let's move on to the second part. Second part, right hand continues. Goes C, D, E flat, D, E flat, F, E flat, F. F, G, up to the high C, and that's it. One more time, it goes like this. It goes C, D, E flat, D, E flat, F, E flat, F, G, up to C. And that's it for the right hand. Once you get the right hand for this second part, left hand, exact same four chords as the first part. Once again, just F minor, F, A flat, C, second chord, B flat major, B flat, D, F, third chord, E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat, and fourth chord, A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat. So with these four chords in mind, F minor, B flat major, E flat major, and A flat major. The two hands together goes like this, right hand starts, E flat and F minor together, F and B flat major together, G and E flat major together, C and A flat major together. Like that. One more time, like this. Together, 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 together. Like that. Back to back, the two parts of this second section goes like this, check it out. Awesome thing happens again, similar concept as the first section. The third uh, part of this second section is also exactly the same as the first part. So just exactly the same. Like that. Okay, so back to back, the three parts of this second section, which is we play like this, check it out. Okay, moving on, fourth part. Okay, it changes up a little bit. Right hand goes C, D, E flat, D, E flat, F, E flat, F, D, up to G, and that's it. One more time, it goes like this. C, D, E flat, D, E flat, F, E flat, F, D, up to G. That's the right hand. Left hand, four chords here, the four chords different a little bit. So F minor, F, A flat, C, second chord, B flat major, B flat, D, F, and the third and fourth chord are both G major, which is G, B, D, so two of them. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, so F minor, B flat major, and G major twice. The two hands together goes like this, right hand starts, E flat and F minor together, F and B flat major together, D and G major together, G and G major together, like that. One more time, like this, together, 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 like that. Okay, so back to back, all four parts of this second section goes like this, check it out. So, what you need to do is learn the two sections that I taught you in this lesson back to back and play them repeatedly until you can get it smooth with all the notes right and all the rhythm right, okay? So once you get both things like good, then you can start applying the left hand pattern, okay? For beginners, it'll be difficult, especially for the second section, it is like quite jumpy, so that's the difficult um, of that pattern, okay? But anyway, yeah, this is the pattern. For all of the chords, you apply this pattern where, for example, C major, you play the root note followed by the high two notes, followed by the high note one octave below, and followed by the high two notes again, and repeat that. So just one, high two notes, lowest note, high two notes, like that. Yeah, and do that for every chord, like that. Even with the F minor chords, B flat major chord, same thing, same thing, etc. So do it for everything and just apply it, like this. So 
yes, the pattern is harder to do for the second section because like of the flats, okay? It's easy to kind of slip into the wrong note, but just with some practice, with uh, more accuracy, you'll be able to get it, no problem, okay? But anyway, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Check out the rest of my channel if you like these step-by-step -step piano tutorials. Literally, I have multiple thousands and thousands of them for you to enjoy and learn from on this channel. So do a search and see if I've done your favorite song or not. Anyway, check out my website as well, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me, learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff, so check it out as well. Okay, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Enjoy your time around my channel, and as for now, see you next time. Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.